Ready? Yep. Draw seven. Ooh, looking good. Yeah, man. Yep. This is not magic cards. That's right, because today we're learning Lorcana. We are adding Lorcana, the Disney TCG on Card Market tomorrow, September 1st. Yep, so if you want to find out if that game is for you or how it feels, how it plays, we're going to do that right now. Let's give it a try. So in Lorcana, am I just stuck with this seven or can I mulligan? No, luckily you get to do a mulligan where you put away any number of cards and draw the same amount. But you only as get many to, times as I want? No, you only get to do it once, unfortunately. Okay. I don't even know what is good or bad in my hand. As for my part, I'll bottom five cards. Okay. Yeah, this kind of mulligan would be broken in magic. Oh, a combo deck would be insane. So crazy. Anyways, I'll take my first turn and I'll play the mana resource. Well, it's not mana in this case, it's ink. And to do that, I just show you that my card has this little circle up here. You see the circle? A lot of cards have that circle. Yep. I'll play it face down. So this is my mana now. And I'll tap it to cast Lilo. Ooh. Now, Lilo has one power and one toughness. Like wait, a magic wait, card. Oh, you know that for magic. But it also has these two drops here. I'll explain all about that in my next turn. For now, it's yours. So is it summoning sick? Yes. Oh, so you'll have to take wait, you'll have to wait a turn to see this on something. Okay. I'll draw. I drew a one drop. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> well, you, you can tell me about it, because I will play this 5-drop, I won't need it yet, as a land. Yep, it has the circle, so you may play it as a land. So this one, by the way, doesn't have the circle. I may not play this as a land. Ah, very nice. But it, it's ink, it's not a land. Sorry, sorry. Link. Ink. I will play, do you want to build a snowman? It's Olaf. It's a 1-3. Oh, he's very friendly. Yeah, and he likes warm hugs according to the flavor text. Maybe it's time I explain to you why you played a 1-mana Olaf, because... I mean, it's nice to have a snowman like on the board. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of nice. Um, but the goal of the game, in this case, we don't have a life total of 20 where we count down. Instead, we count up. Uh, you can tap your character during your, only during your turn, once during your turn, uh, to quest, which adds as many lore counters as it has these tiny lore symbols down here. Your Olaf has one, my Lilo has two. So instead of taking you from 20 to zero life, I bring myself from zero to 20 lore. Exactly. I see. Oh, it's more friendship. Exactly. It's magic. But this doesn't involve any of the uh, attack or defense stats we see up there. Uh, those only come into play when these characters challenge each other, because this has a sprinkle of Hearthstone added over it, where you can attack or challenge, in this case, your opponent's characters directly. But you can only challenge an opposing character if they're exerted, so if they're tapped. Okay, so if you add yourself to lore, I can come in and gobble up Lilo. Exactly. But if you decide not to, Lilo's untouchable. Exactly. Okay. Um, also, you need to exert your character to uh, Oh, so then challenge. it can be attacked back. It can be attacked back. And damage stays forever. There's no magical end of turn damage vanishes. So this being a 1-3 means it can snipe three 1-1 one, one characters. Yep. Ah. It's, once again, it's a very interesting combination of Hearthstone and magic. But I do believe we have to unexert our characters. Uh, right? Yeah, right yes. now none of them are exerted. It was an illegal have... game action. Yep, indeed. I believe it's your turn. All right. Untap, upkeep. Draw. I don't Wait. believe that's the name. True. Ready, set, draw. Very good. Because <laughs> those are the names in Larkana. And now, there's no turn order here. I can I can do whatever I want, whenever I want it, because there is no instance, so you can't interact with me. I, I'm not sure if this is the perfect play, but, you know, I'll, I'll add these two counters. And to keep the thing going, I'll play the Duke of Wesselton as an ink card, because it does have the little uh, circle. I'll use both of my ink to summon Flynn Rider. He's a charming rogue, I love this. Oh, that's the creature type. Yeah. Uh, he has one power, two toughness, and two lore. And whenever he is challenged, the challenging player chooses and discards a card. So if your Olaf is trying to get in here, you better discard a card. I like how sometimes in Magic, you look at the creature type and it's like, Rogue, Artificer. And you're like, I could, I could see that. But here, Friendly Snowman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's as descriptive as it gets. Yeah. It is. And with both of my ink used, I'll pass the turn. Already, set, draw, and I draw. Like in Magic, uh, I drew on my turn because I went second. And you didn't because you went first. Sure. This There's a lot of analogs. If you play Magic already, this game is pretty intuitive. Uh, speaking of intuitive, all my characters have big defense stats. Big butts, but very low power. Because I think they're supposed to challenge stuff a lot. Speaking of, I'm going to exert to knock Stitch You out. could also challenge this one. No. No, you can't. can't. It's Oh, yeah, it's untapped. I, I was about to make a bad suggestion, but... Yeah, because then I discard a card. 
So now this has one, one damage. damage. And then I'll curve out. I'll play this Shield of Virtue as an uh, ink. I'll tap two and play Dr. Facilier. So this has zero power and four toughness, or in this game, it's called zero strength and four willpower. But if I challenge one of your characters, it gets two power. I will pass the turn to you. I'll move into my turn. I'll draw. Wait, ready, set, draw. Exactly. That's, that's the name. I'll play another Duke of Wesselton as a mana. Um, I guess I will exert this to get two lore. Wow, you're really... You are an aggro deck. That's your, your goal. You're going to try to get to 20 lore as quickly as possible. Watch me threaten my lore total even faster because I'm going to cast Just In Time. Now, Just In Time is an action card and they work, well, as you'd expect, like sorcery. Right? Okay. We've, we've all seen them. Uh, you I may play a character with cost five or less for free. It's Seething Song. Basically. Wow, that's very strong in this. I'll have myself a look. I'm not even mad. I love Cusco. He's a temperamental emperor. He has two power? What was it? Strength. Strength. Strength and four willpower. He has ward, which is kind of like hexproof. You can't choose him except for combat, like for challenging. Uh, no touchy. When this character is challenged and banished, I may banish the challenging character. Oh, wow. Yeah, pretty strong, I think. It's, it's not death touch, but it's close to death touch. Yeah, it's like death touch on passing. And it's called no touchy. And with Cusco on the board, I'll pass the turn. All right, it seems like you're really popping off. I'll draw. It feels weird that in a control deck, I have these cards, but first I need to play a, a land. I need to add to my inkwell. I only have two options. I'm running out of lands, which I wasn't expecting to happen. I'm gonna play this uh, Friends of the Other Side on this other side. And then I'm gonna play a card that's odd in a control deck. Uh, White Rabbit's Pocket Watch, which is an item, which is basically an artifact. It just stays on the board, okay. you can't challenge it. Uh, and its ability is, I'm late. If I tap it and pay one ink, chosen character gains Rush this turn. For those of you who play Magic, Rush is very similar to Haste. It's just, you can challenge the turn they enter. You can't quest, so you can't add to your uh, lore total. Yeah, yeah, so it's not so good in like aggro, but not good, aggro, for, but good for board control. I'm here to knock out your creatures, which is what I'm going to start doing. No, I can't. I can just never challenge it. I mean, you, yo, you can challenge it, but you can't target it with anything else. Also, it's not exerted right now, so you can only challenge this. I one. can only challenge Flynn, but I have to discard you do. cards if I challenge Flynn. Unfortunately, I feel like I have no choice, so I'm going to exert Dr. Facilier. <laughs> this is universes beyond, like, yeah. <laughs> when is Dr. Facilier taking out Flynn Rider? It's going to add two to his strength. He's going to knock out Flynn, but I am going to have to discard a card. Yeah, Flynn's willpower. Not, which not enough for this. I will discard this second Elsa. And the turn is yours. Let's say it Ready. together. Ready, Ready set, draw! draw. Ooh, this seems good. I mean, I'll just stay on curve. I'll play a Cheshire Cat face down as ink okay. to add to my inkwell. Then I will exert my Cusco because it's got three lore, so let's put that to use wow. up to seven. And then I'll exert all of my ink to play Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell not only has two strength and three willpower, she's evasive, which is flying. Only characters with evasive can challenge evasive characters. And she has pixie dust. When I play this character, I give something else evasive for the turn. So I could challenge your evasive stuff, but... For the turn, so I can still challenge something. Yeah. But that's a lot. That's You currently have five lore on the board, five damage. That's yeah. crazy. And you are one, an aggro This one deck. can't be challenged, I hope. I mean, I don't have any ink left. I'll pass my turn. Speaking of ink left, you know how control decks really want to play? Oh, I drew a, I drew a land. Uh, ink. So this feels very early days of magic because I'm going to play an unsummon as <laughs> to my ink. Well, it's basically an unsummon. So for context, for people that don't know, there's a little over 200 cards in Lorcana. And there's one set. This there's is one the, set, yeah. This is the one alpha extension. of Lorcana. And a lot of the cards, there aren't any instants in it, for example. Oh, are you going to draw sorcery. three cards for one mana? Oh, I mean, that would be so <laughs> cool. Unfortunately, I cannot do that. All I can do is start trying to beat down your Cusco, but it's gonna, it's gonna hurt. Hopefully. I'm going to, Olaf is gonna kamikaze into your Cusco. All right. Olaf is down. And then Dr. Fessili is also gonna attack your Cusco. Going to three. And then I just don't have a lot going on. The cards are pretty slow. I'm gonna play a magic mirror, which is another item. And if I pay four, I draw a card. 
Oh, that's early days of magic. Jandias Tome. Jandias Tome or something. Yeah, it's a tome in magic. Yeah. yeah. But even this card is still better. It costs two instead of four. Yeah. And I will pass the turn over to you. I, w I wanna actually I wanna do this in magic the same way, right? Like untap, upkeep, draw. Like as a, as it's a ready, set, ready, draw. Ready, set, draw. All right. I didn't even ready everything. I. Anyways, um, first I guess I will quest with Cusco up to ten. Wow, my life total's melting. I can play this second Lilo for one ink. Mm -hmm. And while the ink is still drying on this one, that's the term for summoning sickness here. Ooh. Uh, I'll play another Flynn Rider. Wow! We saw all of these before. And then I'll also quest with my Tinkerbell, adding another two. Wow. It, when I say it feels like early days of magic, you're curving out with like medium sized creatures, and I can't do anything because my, my murder costs five. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I don't even. My four lands can't even tap to. Wow. That's a five mana sorcery murder. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ready, set, draw? Ready? Uh, yeah. Set, draw. draw. So I love the resource system because it's really neat, but I drew a five drop and I really want to play it, but it's also my only fifth land. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to add him to my inkwell. And then I am going to pay five and dragon fire your, I believe I have to dragon fire your Tinkerbell. Yeah, I think so too. And then, I'm gonna finally take out your Cusco, Dr. Fastidier. Yeah, the no touchy ability seems a bit wasted, because now it's... I can dragon fire it. Yeah, no, no, the no touchy is uh, when this character is challenged and banished, I may banish the challenging character, but it's already... It's already gone. ...being defeated, so... But now you're swinging back for four. Okay, you may do so. Ready, set, set draw. draw! Oh, well, this one costs too much. Anyways, I'll quest a lot. <laughs> I'll quest for a lot. And then It's lethal next turn. All I have is a Jandaya's Tome. I mean, you have something to give Rush. You okay. can challenge things immediately. Go ahead. I'll untap. So, this is really powerful technically. I have a divination in hand for those who don't play magic. It's friends on the other side, which it's hard not to sing these. So it's, it's three mana, three ink, draw two. And if I have a creature with CMC three or more, or in this case, a character with cost three or more, I can do this for free. That's powerful. that's insane. That's pot yeah. of greed. But here it's divination. All right, good luck. I'll draw two. I'm gonna play Maleficent as okay. ink. Yeah. To play, uh, this is combo, I'm very happy here. To play Aladdin. Oh, this game is so sweet. It's a street rat. It's a 2-2. Two, two. And when I play this character, each opponent loses one lore. Take oh, that, Yavin. Wow. That is actually very strong. 15. And then, basically have fervor on the board, because I need to pay. I don't basically have fervor on the board. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I will ready, set, draw. I'll play Simba, but I won't play him. I'll play him as ink. Oh, you, you have a 5-drop you want to cast. I do. Uh, I can't play them for free anymore. I'll play Maximus, the palace horse. It has bodyguard. Now, for those of you who've played Hearthstone, it's taunt. Uh, it may enter play exerted, which I will choose to have it enter exerted. Um, and if you challenge any of my characters, you have to choose uh, one with bodyguard as long as possible. So I have to attack into that. Even yeah. though <clears throat> this is going to win next turn, I have to attack your horse. Exactly. It also has support, so whenever it quests, so adding to my lore counter, I can add its power or its strength to another character's strength for the turn. So this can quest, and then, oh, I'll just give this thing five power to... That, that card's super strong. Seems very good to me. Um, for now, though, both of these will quest. I'm at 19. No, no wait. I'm at 19. Because, yeah, it's not magic. Yeah, it's so You're weird. 19. <laughs> wow. I'll untap? Yep. This feels like my last turn on this table. I will draw. For some reason, I will just boink this horse. Yep. Uh, it takes two. Mind that. Aladdin's gone. I will Jendaya's toe <laughs> and draw a card. And I will pass the turn. Be ready. Set. Draw. And quest, 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 quest. I'm dead. Good game. Good game.
Wow, so that was Lorcana and yeah, your aggro deck. It really pulled it together in the end, right? It didn't yeah. seem like that. Something we didn't mention earlier, in Lorcana, there's six colors. You only saw four of them here, but while deck building, you have to restrict yourself to two of those colors. Yeah, so when you're at home, maybe you can look at the other colors. They'll inspire you to do something. And while you're at it, don't forget, there's a subscribe button. Wait, if wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hi. I'm going to take this for a second. Oh, thank you. So. I looked at the two colors that we're not playing, and I think I built the best deck. So let's play again. High roll? Yes, sir. Some things just never change. Like me winning a high roll. <laughs> All right, let's go. I will mulligan. I, it's called mulligan in this game? I'm not certain. OK, I will, will not choose to accept those four. I'll put away this one. One. You like six of your I've, cards. I've got a royal flush right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll one, take two, one. three, four, and then we shuffle the rest. I will play this beast's mirror face down. Okay, face down. So now it's a two-two morph. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will use one of the inks. I mean that I make, and I will play Captain Hook. Uh, it's a one-two, so one strength and two willpower, and it has challenge two. So that means whenever. He challenges something, he gets two attack. Oh, wow. That's pretty solid. Go ahead. I will ready, set, draw. Mm -hmm. I will play a stitch face down mm -hmm. as ink. And I'll use this ink to play Milo. We know that one. One mana, one... One, one. One mana, one, one. And it has two lore if it quests. Okay. I like your flavor way of... Casting Lilo with Stitch. Yeah, well done. They're, they're united in spirit. Yes. Um, okay. Untap, draw. Oh, very good. That's a card I really don't want to see. Uh, I will play a Captain Hook face down because okay. uh, I already have one. And I will cast, I mean, this is very relatable to magic, a one jump ahead. So if I have a character which costs at least two, I could cast it for tapping the character. Okay. Exerting. Exhausting, exerting, yes. But I don't have it. So I have to pay two for it. And it looks, it takes the top card of my deck and puts it as an ink. Exert. Oh, wow. That is, that's rampant growth. It's basically rampant. It's rampant growth. It's just one jump ahead. Yes. And at the same motion, I will put my Captain Hook on a short quest. All right. So I so gain one you gain one lore. That is it. You know how in magic sometimes we say first blood? It's first... First magic. lore! First lore. <laughs> first lore. I like that. Uh, I'll ready, set, go. I'll play this Duke of Wesselton as ink. And I will play Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. Uh, she is a 1-3 and has the ability, you'll be sorry, when this character is challenged and banished, I may return chosen character to their player's hand. Also, she quests for one. Okay. Uh, I won't quest this turn, so it's just your turn. <sighs> it's basically time walk. You didn't do anything. It's interesting that you can choose to have like protection. Like, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's definitely, it adds it adds decision. In Magic, like when your opponent is tapped out, you swing in. Right? Yeah, exactly. So right now you don't have to protect it. It's a decision to use it. Ooh. That I'll save for later. Okay, I will do something that I uh, think couldn't be any more fitting. <laughs> and I will develop your brain. You know? I love that name. Develop your brain. That's such a great insult too. When my mom used to say, go and read a book. <laughs> yeah, develop your brain. So uh, it looks at the top co two cards of my deck and then puts one in my hand and the other on the bottom of my deck. That's also sleight of hand. Yes, exactly. I would choose one of the coolest characters of all of Disney. Prob arguably the coolest. And uh, this goes to the one. And because you know what I haven't done in a while? A uh, ramp? Develop my brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's not developed yet. <laughs> so I have to do that again. Uh, I would choose this one because it looks like it fits into my curve. And I will not choose this one. The curve has so far been my biggest indicator for strategy. Yeah, <laughs> use your mana, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, 
they'll the cards will cost something for a reason, right? I agree. I agree. And I will play Robin Hood. Play stone. All right. So now do I want to attack? I'm not afraid of you. You have to be afraid of me. I will to two lore you go. Go ahead. I will ready, set, draw. I will play another Flynn Rider uh, face down as ink. Mm -hmm. And you might have wondered why I didn't quest last turn, Toffel. Well, this turn I will quest. So first I'll go up to three lore. Okay. And I've got a special trick up my sleeve. It's just in time. It's an action. I may play a character with cost five or less for free. And I'll put in Maximus. Because Maximus is a protector. So it has taunt. Oh no. I have to attack it. Oh no. No, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a very clever plan. It's very clever. Thank you. Go ahead. Um, yeah, but it somehow lines all up. Ooh, hello. Okay, I don't think I need this mirror. I will put another beast mirror face down. I think my, my cards are good enough to him. And then Captain Hook will challenge Maximus. Yep, okay. So now uh, Captain Hook unfortunately dies very quickly. But he takes three damage. Yeah. yeah. And that for the grand final of this turn, I will play Grab Your Sword. I could cast it if I have a character for five that can sing it, but unfortunately there's nobody to oh, So you just pay five? Yeah, so I just pay five and deals two damage to each opposing character. Okay. Um, I guess so this, this one, one stays around, yes. but both of these leave. And that was my turn. Huh. Looks much cleaner. That was unfortunate, but ready, set, draw. I'll make up for it. I'll play yet another Duke of Wesselton. I, I feel like my whole deck is just Dukes of Wesselton. <laughs> but they're very good mana. Uh, and I will cast Hans, Scheming Prince. There, it's as vanilla as he gets. Three mana, three, three, and three lore counters. I have no idea how good any of this, but it looks like a magic. You wouldn't touch it with like a three foot ball. Yeah, because not really, right? <laughs> if it doesn't have text, how good can it be? And then I'll quest for one. Yeah, so you go to four. I do. Uh, that's my turn. I will untap all. Ready. Ready. Oh, very good. I will put a two cost <laughs> because we don't need it. So I'm gonna tap all six because from now on my turns are gonna be bangers. And I play Tinker Bell, and she <laughs> rocks the boat. When you play this character, deal one damage to each opponent character. Okay. So that's this one goes. So this one wasn't even ch challenged when it's banished, so I'm it's effect. Sorry. I feel like this counts as a challenge. And during my turn, whenever this character banishes another character in a challenge, I also get to deal two damage to a different character. Oh, wow. Yep. So. Yikes. Better? And it's a four or five. Yeah, that, that, that is, those are very strong stats. Anyways, ready, set, draw. Um, I don't think I'll win this game if I don't quest, so I'll quest for three. So you go to seven. Yeah. I'll play a Cheshire Cat for ink. I'll use all of my ink. To summon Moana, uh, she's a 1-6 princess uh, with 3 lore, so pretty sturdy and quests for a lot. And she has the ability, we can fix it. Whenever she quests, I may ready all my other princess characters, so I untap them. Uh, they can't quest for the rest of the turn, but they can still challenge or do whatever. So that's my turn. Ready. There's no setting. I draw. So I use a strategy that my mom used to tell me for getting to twos, but I think also applicable, especially in this game, it's think before you ink. <laughs> that's awful, that's a... Because all of those things are good to ink, but I want to cast my seven. Think I put before in? you ink. Has someone copyrighted that? Like, is that... Uh, yes, don't, don't try this. <laughs> it's already copywritten. Okay, so I'm gonna decide a heartbreaking decision and put Donald Duck in my ink well. Oh, that sounds like a heartbreaking decision. It is. But, this is the other heartbreaking decision, but it's not for me. We're tapping all seven of my ink. Oh no. To cast Hades. I have never seen a seven drop yet, and I'm very scared. So this is one of the coolest characters of all Disney. When Hades appears in the game, uh, I may choose a different character of my opponent, and it goes into your ink well. Oh. Bye. No, not this one. It will also go away, but not in the sense. Though. Okay. So, oh wait, so, okay. I've got, I've got more ink now. And I will also challenge your hands with my Tinkerbell. 
Okay, so Tinkerbell takes three. You may deal two damage to another character. Only yours. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll, I'll ready. I'll set. I'll draw. Um, this doesn't curve very well, but I guess I will play another hunt. Mm. Which is uh, somewhat funny, because actually one of my given names is Hans. I don't use oh. it a lot. But, and by I don't use it a lot, I mean, I never use it. <laughs> Do you also regularly quest for three lore points? Uh, no, I... Maybe we should start. Maybe we can try. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, I feel like from now I have to cruise the game home. Oh, all right. We know this card. It's time to develop <laughs> it's time your brain. It's time to develop your brain. I'd like to develop my brain. We should have played better cards. I would choose Prince Eric. And I will also put him face down. <laughs> because that's how I roll. If you're not expensive. That's so much ink. That's so much ink, yeah. I'm also going to use six of it to cast Robin Hood. When you play this character and if an opponent has more cards in their hand than you, you draw a card. Cards in hand. One. Mm. And during your turn, this character gains evasive. So that phrase is like reach, right? Where it doesn't, it, it's not actually evasive. Ah, yeah. But it that's can good, attack good evasive reference. threats. Yes. So it, it doesn't have evasive. Yeah, yeah. Because you can only attack on your turn. Right. Challenge. Makes sense for an archer. Oh, so smart. Yeah. Okay. Um, I cannot attack, challenge, defeat your Hans. I'm also not afraid of your stuff. So I'm going to... Do one for two, go to four, and one for two, go to six. Yep. Go ahead. All right. I'll ready, set, draw. It is fun to see. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's such a natural flow. I like it. I don't know what's in your deck, so I'll quest now. So you go to ten. Yep. Halfway there. I'll play a Cheshire Cat. That's a three mana zero three. Not very strong. But if you challenge it and it's banished, the challenging character is also banished. Also, uh, it, it quests for two. Mm, I understand. Okay. And then that's my turn. Ready, set. And now you're getting draw. <laughs> oh, the cool part is I drew a smash and you have no idea what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could probably show me your hand and I'd have no idea. Okay. We start off by, I don't want you to get more points. So Tinkerbell is going to challenge Hans. All right, so they trade. Yes, they trade. And with this trading, Tinkerbell deals two damage to your cat. And because she's very sad that her sister just left, I play another Tinkerbell, which we already know. She deals one damage to each opposing character when she uh, comes into play. Man. All these effects are useless against all of your, like, damage-based removal. Told you I build a good deck. Magic, you know, enter the battlefield stuff, big butts, good top power. <laughs> no, it's just magic. It's just magic. And then we're gonna add another two, and another two, again. So I'm now at ten. So we're even. Everybody's game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. The resource bar is <laughs> right there in the center. <laughs> Ready, set, draw. I'll play... Rapunzel, I, I, I like, I feel like I'm just too far behind at this point, but she's a four mana, one five. Uh, she's got a great ability. Uh, when she enters the battlefield, I can remove up to three damage counters of, of any of my characters and draw one card per damage that is removed that way. But all of your things were too big for me to even trade into. Yeah. Uh, so now she's just a mere one five with two lore counters. Oh, and so can't attack her, but okay. A passing of the turn. Yes. Ready, set, draw! Hmm. Well, you never guess what this was. <laughs> it was a Tinkerbell! Oh no. Whee! <sighs> so she takes the damage, yeah. Unfortunately, I cannot attack her. And I cannot do anything, so we're gonna add six by two, two, and two. A bunch of questing. 16. This is what I call passive income. All right. Go ahead. One time. <laughs> Ready, set, draw! Oh, yes! I'll use three ink to play just in time. Okay. So I may play any character with cost five or less for free. Mm -hmm. 
I'll choose Simba, a two cost, oh, uh, two Simba. three bodyguard. It, it, yeah. enters, it enters exerted. You have to attack it before you can attack Rapunzel. Uh, challenge it before Rapunzel. Yeah. Just in time. Just in time. Uh, it was just in time. Yeah, I'll quest for two. Mm. It's your turn. Ready. This is the best ready you can have. Ready. Oh, yeah. yeah. Set. Draw. Ooh, it's more Robin Hoods. Okay. Um, I'm at 16 points. I will add four to my thing. You go to 20. You win at 20, right? Good game. <laughs> Damn, ramp. Really is powerful, but I guess getting ahead in resources is just really powerful. I assume that when I saw one jump ahead, you just basically ramp and grows, because the one set limitation on being like such an aggressive deck yeah. or any like deck is so bad that you play better cards in the end. There's also Bell, which is like here, which she also ramps. You can basically play an additional land. Yeah, I think that deck is pretty powerful. So maybe aggro isn't the end-all, be-all, but yeah. it was certainly fun. The game is pretty enjoyable. It's so interesting what magic things you can apply on a new game. You have so many cards that work the same and you know what it is. Yeah. A sleight of hand and some lightning bolts and the lore is great. Like you play with actual what the things you see. Yeah, the similarities to magic let you apply so much knowledge. But yeah. keep in mind, Lorcana is releasing on Card Market tomorrow, September 1st, probably 10 a.m. is what we're aiming for. Uh, so if you need any singles, uh, just get them. On, you can get them on Card Market tomorrow. In the meantime, please let us know if you like this kind of content by subscribing, by giving this video a thumbs up, and by most importantly writing into the comments what you think. Because we go through them, we read them, we take feedback from them, we take ideas from them. So please let us know what you think. It's the way, the only way we can know what to do in the future of this channel. Yeah, and if. Carl doesn't have another broken deck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he just comes in running with another deck. Yeah, sometimes things happen. We well, thank you for watching the video.